Good afternoon guys, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Uh, this is the fourth part of my series on Master Research and uh, so we're going to be looking at the second half of Master City Defence. Um, before we do that, it's Sunday uh, afternoon, I'm just doing training today, um, don't really have time, I had a lot of stuff on so I didn't have time to do a kill event but uh, so I'm just doing some training, uh, continuing to increase my power and troop numbers, uh, ready for the next season of Eden. And uh, not a lot else is going on really in, in the main account, if I'm honest with you. Um, what else? Well, uh, a lot of you have watched my uh, level 10 resource tile video and um, I've had a lot of requests and messages about uh, joining our BOW Farm Alliance. Um, just to let you guys know, that is now near capacity. Um, so please, please don't come to 55 and try and join us. Um, in BOW we will not have space for you now uh, for any of you that are thinking of doing it and um, for those of you um, that haven't been able to find a spot with us as I said in my video uh, the initial video you'll have to try and talk to players in individual states and see if um, there's the opportunity for you to join in a farm alliance there if they've got space and then obviously move your castle back to your own home alliance before it gets to level six and then you'll need to just build it up um, so that you can then uh, place the resource tiles using the build button and then the resource station um, so that's just what I wanted to say about that so let's get into the second half of master defense and obviously you'll have to kind of appreciate bear with me because uh, a few players in my alliance have got very far into this but I haven't I'm only up to 28% uh, in the previous video we looked at uh, up to Stan United which as I said gives you a fifth whole legion um, a defensive legion that just sits in your castle and then basically that's all it does it's going to give you that extra level of protection um, and where what heroes you use is up to you you could go for a really strong defensive footman legion or uh, you could potentially go for um, some pure killers with an archer's legion just depends the makeup of, of the heroes and of course what you've got available to you um, so let's carry on with the master city defense after stand united after you've unlocked this defensive legion the next few elements are going to be directly um, linked to that defensive legion so counter attack as you can see here increase defensive q unit might so this will um, increase 15 levels 15 percent on the um troop might in your defensive 5th legion and uh, as you can see the requirements are reasonable uh, low amounts of courage medals um, gold lumber and marble so that I don't think that's going to be too too much issue for anyone sturdy fortress I'm sure you can guess it is going to give you an extra 15% resistance for your 5th defensive legion and um, again you're just you know not crazy requirements for it this should be pretty quick and easy to complete and and lumber and iron for that that side after that legion enhance, enhancement uh, again it's going to give you another 15 percent on your unit hp so what's that going to do that's going to give them that's giving them more health uh, so that they can take more damage um, this one again pretty reasonable on the requirements and it's going to be food and iron so I don't think any of these are going to cause people any problems. Uh, recruitment expansion. Interestingly, this is to do with uh, the max march. So this is going to increase your troops in that in the legion, and you can increase up to fifteen thousand. Um, again, nothing nothing too crazy. I don't think on the requirements for that. So that's kind of interesting. I as I say, I haven't unlocked it yet. So the fact that you're um, having to do this to get extra capacity I'll be interested to see how the how it works because usually obviously in terms of troop numbers um, you would have a uh, you would upgrade your training ground for that legion so maybe I, I'm guessing you don't get a training ground and you just use this element of research to uh, replicate the increased troop numbers you would have got if you were increasing your training ground if that makes sense I hope um, on then after that the remaining elements uh, move away from that uh, defensive legion and as I said in the first video you will actually have a separate part of research um, for the defensive legion that you're going to have to complete as well anyway um, I think similar to how you know your class legion and legions one two three had to be developed 
Uh, again, at this point, if most if that's just using normal resources, then potentially most of us can do that really quickly. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. As soon as I get uh, Defensive Legion unlocked in the coming months, of course, I will do a specific video about it to update you all. On to Temp Bed. This is going to increase your medical tank capacity and it's going to go from 500 up to another 15,000 with the 20 levels. So you can, uh, you know, it's pretty good. You, one of the biggest issues you have is if you're in a lot of battles, particularly on throne, um, throne wars, then you can quickly fill your medical tents. And we all know that once you've filled them, then you start getting heavy amounts of losses. And uh, then the following Monday, you've got you know, 1 million, 2 million troops in your shrine that you need to work on uh, and it's going to cost you a fortune to get them back. But having a high medical tank capacity, uh, that's going to give you a bit of uh, leeway in terms of when you're battling. Uh, you know, most, if you're not, if you're reasonably strong, you're not going to lose, um, you know, 300,000 troops in one battle. So if you've got this extra uh, capacity, that's going to be beneficial to you. Again, it looks a bit more expensive than those previous sections that I've just talked about. Uh, this one is going to have lumber and iron again. Um, but yeah, it's going to be useful. Uh, another wall fortification, same as uh, the first section, it's going to give you an extra 250 points on your wall fortification. So it's going to make it harder for uh, opponents to zero your castle because you've got that higher level of fortification. And then next we're on to advanced tower. Those of you will see that you've got your normal watchtower here and in battles you'll see that uh, when you're attacked you're sieged the watchtower will def help defend your castle and it will kill a certain level of troops albeit a you know a low level of troops so in master city defense you get this advanced tower option and basically that's going to upgrade your watchtower uh, so that it's more powerful now let's have a look at the requirements for this guys this is going to be a bit of a stumbling block you have to finish the previous two elements in the uh, defense chain up to level 20 for those and then 25,000 courage medals for this one element that's the most i've seen in any uh, research at, at, you know on on the game so 25,000 courage medals to unlock this and then 20 million gold 190 million marble and 85 million iron um, I know for some of you that are probably watching right now, that's an eye-watering amount of marble and iron that you're going to have to accumulate. But I would, I would honestly, I say, fear not. By the time you kind of get to this level of development in your accounts, um, if you've got a couple of farms as well, then you you will be able to easily cover this. You've seen how much resources I have in my account. I this I wouldn't even bat an eyelid now having to do this when I get to it, but you know that's that's the benefit of having farms the only issue will be this courage medals running up to the few weeks before this what i will be doing is kind of saving a few thousand courage medals every week because the uh, power levels on these master researchers are so high that you don't have to use all of the medals that you've accumulated that week to hit your nine boxes uh, so if you you i would definitely suggest when you're getting close to this um this advanced tower unlock you want to be just getting your nine boxes and then saving your medal so you've got a, a bit of a buffer. Having said that, when the week that you do do it, look at this, 114,000 power increase uh, for the advanced tower. So that's going to give you some huge points um, when it comes to, well, you're going to do your ninth box in one research when you do this, unlock this. Um, on after that, then you've got a few buffs for the tower. So tower, uh, tower expansion, increased tower energy cap. I'm guessing this is... Uh, going to just increase how much um, kills the, the tower gets and uh, this will have quite I think if it's starting at 360 courage medals and there's 20 levels that's going to be quite high levels of medals required for it and tower reinforcement and an increased energy recovery speed um, up to 40% again I'm not I'm not 100. I'll be honest with you. I don't actually know how this relates to to the tower. I'm obviously it's energy recovery speed. Maybe it's so that it potentially that it's limited when you're attacked multiple times, perhaps. 
and if you have this then the tower will kind of be back to full power uh, quicker I'm guessing if you if you've got this research uh, completed uh, again it's I think it's going to be quite a difficult one with the 360 starting point on the courage medals it's also needing lumber and, and iron again uh, so that's good those I think those will take a while strength and tower as well arrow tower attack increases from two up to 20 percent so that's um, again that's increasing the attack potency of the tower by 20 percent and this again is going to be expensive guys look at this for the first only five levels i appreciate that but the first level you need 1150 courage medals and it wants 26 million marble 17 million iron for the first level so i'm guessing you're going to be potentially spending 300 million marble and maybe 150 million iron to complete this section i'm guessing a complete guess but based on these kind of levels to start with that i think that's going to be a real um, resource heavy section of the research for you guys to complete on to the last few sections now so safe haven reduce defeat casual casualties uh, up to 20 percent 10 levels but it will reduce your defeat casualties by 20 percent um, again i would assume that that is both injuries and deaths um, this again is going to have some you can see it's got some high requirements 2400 courage medals for the first section of the 10 14 million uh, lumber and 7.2 million iron so that is going to be definitely a, a tough one to complete and then the last sections you've got these three strands as we've seen before for left hand ones are for footmen middle is for archers right hand side is for cavalry first layer is about increasing your siege defense might for each type of troop and obviously that's going to improve um, how much um, damage your troops do when they're defending when your your castle is being sieged and the next section is the resistance so how much um, that will it will the more higher the resistance the less damage that your opponents do to your troops uh, so again 20 levels on that to improve it by 20 percent and uh, that will take a while again because you've got these 20 elements in each strand and then finally stand your ground again it's going to be expensive 20 elements to it uh, or 20 levels to it 1400 courage medals to start marble and iron again 7.9 million marble 5.3 million iron for this one and it's going to improve again like in master warfare it whatever it's improving it's improving it by 100 percent once you get to level 20 but it does say function coming soon uh, and no clues about that either so uh, again once i get to unlocking that and i and i've got a better idea then obviously i will update you guys sorry i can't kind of give you 100 percent of the information in the video today uh, so that is all the elements on master warfare and master city defense and um, as i've said before this i think probably in part one of master warfare you know a lot of people think oh i've, I've seen it in conversations recently um you know, maybe they should increase the castle levels beyond level 25 um, to kind of, you know, increase the longevity of the game. But I think for me, you know, I'm really pushing on the warfare and um, I haven't, you know, I'm just over halfway, aren't I? And I've been doing this for at least, I think, nine months. So I, I think really, and obviously I'm not, like you know, I'm not a big spender, so I'm not spending money on courage medals to speed this up. Um, so I think for normal players that are free to play players, uh, doing this kind of research, it will take to complete both elements of it. It's going to it's going to take a year and a half for sure. Uh, and when you think, you know, usually you're getting to C25 after what nine months? Again, maybe a little bit earlier if if well earlier if you're you know an efficient player. But uh, we all play at our own speed, don't we? Um, so I think there is a good length of playability in the game and I know, obviously we all know that the developers are bringing out other elements in the coming months, we expect. Um, it's interesting to see that they've, on the Facebook chat, they keep saying people have been raising about the anniversary event not happening this year and um, they, we all just get the same reply, something's coming soon, something's coming soon. Um, what that will be, who knows. But we're after, as I said, We'll just have to wait and see. Um, so there we go, guys. I hope you found these videos informative, particularly, I guess, players that are um, not at C25 yet and you're going to kind of have a better idea of what happens when you get to C25 and the things that you can unlock 
um, how you can unlock them, how much they're going to cost you, uh, and the benefits from doing that. So that was kind of my aim of doing doing these videos on Master Warfare, and someone had asked me as well to do it. So uh, I try and follow up on requests as often as I can. Uh, thank you so much for all the support on the channel, as always. If you haven't already, please do click the subscribe, ring that bell. Um, share in your alliance chat, province chat, and on your socials. And of course, if you have any comments about the video, please place them in the section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please enjoy the rest of your Sunday, guys, and I will see you soon.